the court ruling uh, reflects that GE has enormous power and they argue that this is a federal communications matter but at the FCC there's never any recourse to challenge these media conglomerates. What we're seeing here is that an invitation was extended based on the fact that I made I met the criteria and then once I met the criteria they withdrew the invitation. Uh, I, I'd like people to reflect a little bit deeper though on what's going on here. General Electric owns NBC and General Electric is one of the largest nuclear power contractors in the world. They build nuclear power plants and they also of course want to make sure that Yucca Mountain in Nevada uh, remains a site for the dumping of nuclear waste so that they have a place to put the waste that is created by the plants that they want to build. Uh, GE also owns Raytheon which is a major defense contractor and of course uh, they benefit and profit from war. Uh, that they have a major network in their portfolio only gives them an opportunity to enhance their power uh, being able to promote war, even one that was based on lies a few years ago, and being able to promote an energy policy that has been proven to be very expensive and has cost us a, a lot of jobs, particularly in the industrial northeast. Now, I think that it should be of interest to the general public that GE, Raytheon, and NBC have also contributed to candidates who are in the debate today. So they have an interest in excluding someone who disagrees with the promotion of war and the promotion of nuclear power, and they have an interest in narrowing the field to those who believe in their policies. So this is a real danger to our democracy. We have to ask ourselves, uh, ourselves who rules? An unelected uh, corporate monopoly or the people? My candidacy has been about returning power to the people, but elevating the role of our Constitution and of being certain that the public interest is always protected. Uh, here in Nevada today, uh, we see that the public interest, once again, is undermined. I want everyone to know that <clears throat> I'm going to persist in my efforts to make sure that the debate focuses on at least three things. Uh, number one, getting out of Iraq. There is no other candidate in this debate who can say that I opposed, not only did I vote against the war, but I voted 100% of the time against funding the war. There's no candidate in this race who can say that what I can say, and that is that I stand for a not-for-profit health care system, single payer, so that every American's covered. And there's no one in this race who can say, we need a new approach in our, in a, with a manufacturing policy that says that the maintenance of steel, automotive, and aerospace is vital to our national economic security. Therefore, we must cancel NAFTA, get out of the WTO, and have trade that's based on workers' rights, human rights, and environmental quality principles. These three issues go to the core debate. These three issues relate to the district that I come from in Cleveland, Ohio. The concerns of Cleveland, Ohio are not going to be addressed here tonight. The concerns of Cleveland, Ohio and of cities like it for jobs will not be here, heard here tonight. For health care will not be heard here tonight. For ending the war will not be heard here tonight. So only my candidacy gives the American people a real choice. And only my candidacy gives the American people a real debate. One will not occur here tonight in Las Vegas, but I will persist in my efforts to elevate the public interest, the cause of our Constitution, and the people's right to have a government they can call their own. Thank you.